Tonight, nine veterans being honored in Fort Wayne for completing a substance abuse and mental health rehabilitation program. Fox 55's Nico Panisi shares one veteran's story of resilience. Navy veteran Hal Murphy served his country from 1979 to 1983. When he returned home, he says he lost his purpose in life. I was homeless and no job, no car, no future. So he turned to alcohol. He'd been drinking since he was 13 and says it wasn't until a near-death experience that he knew something needed to change. At that point, I had hit rock bottom. I didn't have anywhere to go. That's where the Allen County Joint Veterans Court team comes in. They combine rigorous treatment and accountability for veterans facing jail time, many of whom struggle with substance abuse or mental health issues. I really have uh, had to grow a lot, and I, I have a future that I didn't have before. Today, Murphy and eight other veterans were honored at the University of St. Francis for completing their rehabilitation. Between the nine graduates that we have graduating, we have 195 months of sobriety between all of them. So can we take a moment to congratulate them? The program began in 2013 when courts noticed that so many vets were returning home and struggling. We realized that we've had veterans coming back from wars since, you know, World War I that were suffering from these um, addictions and problems, and those problems were intersecting with the criminal justice system. Superior Court Judge Fran Gull says it's their responsibility to take care of veterans and provide them with services they weren't getting. So many of them were not aware of the fact that they had health care benefits, that they had substance abuse health benefits. Because of the program, veterans like Murphy have the tools to move forward in life. Now I have a job. I have a life, something to look forward to. In Fort Wayne, I'm Nico Panisi, Fox 55 News. And Judge Gall says that all soldiers take a pledge to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. But sometimes they forget one of the biggest enemies, which is themselves.